50, 17 paper 2, in 10, it's saying given that h is equal to 2x minus 4 over x plus, so a 3 plus x, okay? Then we are told to make x the subject of the formula. Make x the subject of the formula. So our expression is given by h is equal to 2x minus 4 over 3 plus x. So in our case, h is the subject of the formula. But they want us to change the subject of the formula from h to what is x. They want us to make x the subject of the formula. So what we are going to do is, we are going to divide by 1 as the first step. Then step number 2, we are going to cross multiply. Okay? So we are going to multiply 1, multiplied by 2x minus 4 is equal to, then this h, we are going to multiply h, multiplied by 3 plus x. Okay, we can move on. So 1 times 2x, we get 2x. 1 times negative 4, you get negative 4. It's equal to, then you can also multiply this side and say, h times 3, you get 3, 3h, then plus, h times x, you get h, x, okay? Then at this level, since we are told to make x the subject of the formula, we are going to group the x terms together. So we have got 2 has got x, then which other term has got x? It's h. H, x. So this is positive this side. When you transpose it on the other side, it's going to become negative. H, x is equal to 3, h. Now since negative 4 has no x, we are only interested in our x terms. So this one is going to be transposed on the other side. So this one is negative, it's going to become positive. A 4 on the other side. So in this case, since we have grouped the like terms together, x terms, what we are going to do is, we are going to factor it. So we are going to factor out x. Since x is common, right? So we say x is common, then open the brackets. So x into x is 1. 1 times 2 get 2 minus x into x is 1. 1 times h to get h is equal to 3h plus 4. Then for us to remain with uh, x, we need to get rid of this, remove this. So we say you divide both sides by 2 minus h. What you do this side, also do it on the other side. Say 2 minus h. So these two are going to go. This is going to give rise to x. Now x is equal to 3h plus 4 over 2 minus h. So this is our answer. We subjected this expression to what it? x. Let us move on to 2016 paper 2. So 2016 paper 2 is saying, uh, given that x is equal to w plus 3 over 2 minus w. Okay. Then we are going to make our w the subject of the formula. Okay. So step number one, remember, we just need to divide. Say, say over 1, we balance up the expression line. Right? Then we, step number 2, we cross multiply. We are going to multiply uh, x multiplied by 2 minus w. Then we're going to multiply 1 multiplied by w plus what? Plus 3. So we're going to multiply 1 multiplied by uh, w plus 3. Then we're also going to multiply this x, x multiplied by 2 minus w. Okay, so we can multiply and move on. So 1 times w get w plus 1 times 3 get 3 is equal to uh, x times 2 gets 2, x. x times negative w gets negative w. Okay? Then, since we are making w the subject of the formula, we need to group the w terms together. Okay? We need to group these terms uh, together. Are we moving together? W, why did they use the No, this one's supposed to be uh, x times w gets uh, w, x. Okay? W, X, sorry for that one. That is um, X times 2 gets 2X. Positive times negative, negative. X times W gets W, X or X, W, N. Right? So in this case, we're going to group the W terms together. So we have uh, W this side. Then this is negative. It's going to become positive this side. So positive W, X is equal to 2X. This one, this side is positive 3. 
when transpose going to become negative what? Negative 3. Okay. Then at this level, since we have grouped the W terms together, we are going to factorize. Okay. We are going to factor out W. Since it is all which is common. So what is found here and here is W. So we are going to factorize and say W is common. Open the brackets. W to W is what? 1. So you write 1 plus. Okay. W into W is what? 1. 1 times x gets x is equal to 2x minus 3. For us to manage that, we remove this. So I'm going to divide both sides by 1 plus x. With this side, divide by 1 plus x. With these two, I'm going to go w is equal to 2x minus 3 over 1 plus x. So this is our answer. We subjected this expression to what? Yeah, and just look at uh, the last question, which is 2015 paper 2. So 2015 paper 2 guys is saying, uh, given that 2 is equal to m plus n, okay, over 3 plus m n, then we are told to make now m the subject of the formula. So 2 is our subject of the formula in this case, but they want us to change to a t, a m. So step number one, guys, just say over our imbalance up, then close multiply, and say when this is one multiplied by m plus n, close is equal to a multiplying two multiplied by three plus m n, close. So one times m plus n, you get m plus n is equal to, you can now multiply and say two times three get six plus two times m n, you get two m. To mn. So since we're making m the subject, we need to group the like terms. So m terms together. So we have got m. This one is positive to mn. So when you transpose this on the other side, you're going to have negative or minus 2mn is equal to 6. This one is positive n. Okay? When you transpose, when you have negative okay? So at this level, since we have grouped the m terms together, we can factor out. We are going to factor out. Okay? Since m, this is the one which is what? Which is common. So this is our common point. So say m, open the brackets, m into m is 1. So we are going to write 1. Minus m into m is 1. 1 times 2a gets 2a is equal to 6 minus a. For us to remain with m, divide both sides by 1 minus 2a. So even this side, you say 1 minus 2a. So these are going to go m is equal to 6 minus n over 1 minus 2n as our answer. So we've subjected uh, this expression to what? To m, meaning we've made m the subject of the formula. Okay, so this marks the end of uh, this presentation on the subject of the formula. Just go through these things are very, very simple. And this question comes every year. This topic is a major topic in mathematics paper 2 and it carries about 3 marks, 3 marks every year. So ensure that you go through this design.